Now to those rising tensions on the streets of Hong Kong. Police and protesters going into an 11th week of clashes as gathering Chinese forces loom across the border. The big question on everyone's mind, will China storm the city? ABC's chief foreign correspondent Ian Panel reporting from a region on the brink. Tonight, tensions mounting in Hong Kong. On the streets of this global financial centre, a dangerous game of cat and mouse between police and protesters who are showing no sign of backing down. A rapidly developing and highly volatile situation here in Hong Kong. Protesters surrounded a police station earlier, and now you can see the riot police have come out in force. Some protesters dropping debris from buildings at police. This officer pointing his gun in return. Our Clayton Sandell is also on the scene. Police are now running toward the protesters. They're charging forward now, headed for the crowds. There were no serious clashes tonight, but there's now a growing fear about where this all goes. And just outside the city, Chinese paramilitary troops staging by the thousands in this stadium. Tanks ready and drills conducted right on the Hong Kong border. A thinly veiled threat. The city, a semi-autonomous Chinese territory, is now bracing for what could be the biggest demonstration yet in just a few hours' time. Protesters both supporting and against China. We are not Chinese! Taking to the streets earlier. You're not scared? I'm scared, of course. This are scared. Yeah, but I think uh, this is worth it, worth it to find out our democracy and freedom. China's leaders warning they've enough power to quell this unrest. Eleven weeks of clashes started with protesters successfully delaying a proposed extradition bill with China. This week coming to a head in violent altercations in one of the world's busiest airports and tonight, fears it'll only get worse. A volatile situation. Ian Panel joining us now from Hong Kong. And Ian, as you mentioned there, with the city bracing for what could be that biggest demonstration yet, and these clashes dragging into an 11th week, do the protesters have one common goal here? Well, look, the protesters have five key demands, but they do all revolve around having more freedom and control and resisting what they see as Chinese interference in their own affairs. But for China, they fear that what this is really about is trying to get independence. And if they make any concessions here, it'll set a dangerous precedent back home. And the gulf between these two sides is now dangerously wide. Wit? Ian Panel in Hong Kong for us. Thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.